I'm Karina Tech Lineback, and I wanted to share with you how you can use a high back chair when you're doing your scoliosis corrections. There, there's two ways we can use this. The first way I'll do when I'm facing you. So you sit with the chair on the side of your thoracic convexity. So my right ribs pop out, so I'm going to put my right ribs close to the chair. I'm going to put this underneath my left hip because that's the side of my lumbar or low back convexity. I'm going to push my right hip down and I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to put my elbow up on the chair in that teapot arm that you saw in the seated correction video, which I'll, I'll put a link to here for you. And from here, I'm going to pop my right rib forward, keeping my arm firmly placed here. I'm going to slide my ribs away and then I'm going to keep this here so the whole unit doesn't get to slide. Does that make sense? The right rib goes forward and it's going to glide left and my right elbow pulls back to the right. If you want to add the head or the neck correction to that, you drop your ear to your shoulder and you look underneath the arm here. All of those corrections help to alleviate some of the stress that can come onto the spine of someone with scoliosis. From this position, you can add a little strengthening by either doing the deep breathing exercises that I, we shared in another video, which <laughs> I'll link to here, deep breathing exercises, or you can pull the legs up and down here. But most importantly, what I wanted to share with you is that you can get some relief with the help of the back of the chair, popping the right rib forward, gliding the ribs away, and then pulling the shoulder girdle back over to the right. Drop your ear, and then underneath. Now using the back of the chair when you're facing how you normally would face in a, in a chair, this is still under my left hip. My right hip is still down, my right hip is still back, and I'm gonna lean back against the chair. I'm gonna pop my right rib forward, I'm gonna glide over to the left, my hand is gonna come up and use the chair to help me open the shoulder. Be sure when you use the chair to open your shoulder that the shoulder is not rounded. If I round my shoulder and try and reach for the chair, it's probably not going to happen. But if I do make it happen, I'm going to get pain in the back of my shoulder. So don't do that. Be sure to open the shoulder before you grab. And then from here, you can do the breathing or the knee lifting exercises. The other thing you can do is you can reach, if there's a headrest on your seat, you can reach for the headrest, or you can even reach for the back of your head. And then just press the hand in and pull the elbow back. That might be the easiest version as opposed to pulling, hanging onto the chair, which is, might be too far back in most cases. So from here, you're lifting and lifting and breathing and all the other exercises we did in the next video or the link that you'll see <laughs> down at the bottom of your screen on this video. Okay, that's it. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.